I'm Jen Carlman with InLab News. We are here at the 2010 Fall Demo Conference in San Jose, California. I'm very, very happy to be joined by Greg Doyle, the managing partner of InLab Ventures. Um, Greg, thanks for being here. My pleasure. Our, our topic today is venture capital. So much has happened in the industry. So before we talk about what you are launching here at Demo, let me just kind of pick your brain a little bit and give me some idea of where the venture space is right now and how it's been affected by the market in the last year and a half. Well, the last year and a half. Well, I'll, uh, I'll go back a little farther and talk about the last decade. It's really been very difficult. Uh, the, the returns have been pretty dismal mm -hmm. in the last 10 years mm -hmm. um, and limited partners and investors and VC funds are, are looking for change mm -hmm. and we believe that we have the answer, the solution to those problems mm -hmm. within Venture Capital 3.0. Um, there's been things that have been going on that, for example, the size of funds have been increasing dramatically. Mm -hmm. Uh, since 1980, uh, 1980, the average size fund was $48 million. Mm -hmm. Currently, it's closer to $400 million. So fund sizes have, dr have grown dramatically over the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that's created some problems. Many venture capital firms have moved upstream. Mm -hmm. They're investing in, in more mature businesses. Mm -hmm. And so what used to be a typical investment within VC with a million to $5 million is now mm -hmm. more 10 to $200 million. Mm -hmm. And uh, Are you seeing small, potentially very successful startups because they can't get that seed money? Are we losing them somehow? Well, they're definitely looking for money sources. Mm -hmm. uh, and you've had one of the trends that's gone on in the last year, year and a half, have been the advent of super angel funds. Mm -hmm. And so angel investors that are they're wealthy, they're moved upstream and said, mm -hmm. okay, now we're not just going to focus on half million, a million dollar investments. Mm -hmm. We're now going to play in that early stage space. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so there's definitely a, a niche, a need for filling that seed round, Series A mm -hmm. investment for entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. What do you think, if you could articulate uh, big picture of venture capital, what could you say is actually broken about the model? Well, we've narrowed it down to, to as this white paper that we've developed is there's seven key points. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're leading with things that are, that are most important to investors, but there's also elements in there that are very important to entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. And so they include things like uh, management fees. That mm -hmm. Management fees uh, present a, 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 a problem in the incentive structure. Mm -hmm. It really incentivizes building of larger funds and not necessarily successful businesses. Mm -hmm. um, that uh, their deal flow engine needs to be enhanced. Mm -hmm. uh, that the due diligence process has some flaws. That uh, there's uh, certain skill sets within the venture management teams that need mm -hmm. to be different. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a whole series of things that we think need to change and we've embodied that in the launch of Venture Capital 3.0. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go into that discussion. This is a big week for you guys launching the 3.0. It is, yeah. Um, and it's not only just uh, an idea. I mean, you're really trying to create an entire brand as Venture Capital 3.0. So, right. uh, Articulate that a little bit for me and develop that for me a little bit about what is it, it that you are really trying to do with this with this venture capital 3.0? Sure. In, in, in the essence is really is to describe and, and promote change in the venture capital mm -hmm. industry. Mm -hmm. And so many people have described the, the problems of the venture capital industry. We have actually put out a solution. Mm -hmm. So a part of it actually takes the last 30 years of venture and describes it into venture 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0. Mm -hmm. and describes the different characteristics of those three time periods. Sure. And then the, the second part is really to say, here's the new business model for the new right. era of investing right. in, in early stage right. companies. So any of the VCs here are going to think, okay, f they all know, whether they want to admit it or not, that the industry is somewhat broken. So they're going, okay, Venture Capital 3.0, what does it really mean? What is the solution that InLab Ventures is bringing to the market? So there's no question that vet VCs are, are you know, going to snicker at that. But, but really, when you talk to them in closed doors, they understand that the asset class has problems. Mm -hmm. And um, we have yet to see, in a meaningful way, a venture capital firm put out a new business model. Mm -hmm. and, and this is what we've done with Venture Capital 3.0. So again, it really talks about a new due diligence process, a new way of engaging with entrepreneurs in a whole different way, mm -hmm. really getting into the day-to-day -day activities that mm -hmm. they need to need help with. Mm -hmm. um, respect for entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. you know, a return to admiring the risks and the, and the struggles of the entrepreneur and acknowledging that with respect as, as you interact with them. Mm -hmm. uh, so 
it, again, it's very it's it's exciting. It's uh, it's very detailed. Um, we're we're thrilled to launch this. We're thrilled to have the dialogue in the industry and. Um, not only do we think that's going to have an impact on entrepreneurs, but that limited partners that are going to invest in, 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 in these companies are going to be very excited about mm -hmm. it. Well, so. hopefully Venture Capital 3.0 can continue building more companies so VCs aren't wasting sure. you know, some of their money. Greg Doyle, uh, the managing partner of InLab Ventures, and if you want to read the white paper, it's at your website, correct? InLabVentures.com. Absolutely. Greg, thanks. Thank you.